What's going on guys? Good to see you. My name is Craig. You, you may recognize me as Stuttering Craig. Breaking news this morning, so I wanted to do a video about it because this is extremely saucy and tasty to me. Uh, the news coming out this morning that Elon Musk is trying to buy the Twitter world, which is, uh, oh, so, so, so delicious in the world of business. Uh, I did a video a few days ago about the closing of the Disco Discovery and Warner Brothers uh, effect on how that's going to deal with Rooster Teeth. A lot of people seem to like that, so I thought I'd do one on uh, Elon Musk and Twitter this morning because man, oh man, it's awesome. Okay, let's get, let's get to the good stuff and uh, show you exactly what's going on this morning over on Twitter, which by the way, is currently a cesspool and the worst place on the internet. But Elon Musk, on, uh, has he's been, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you know, he's been kicking around the idea, talking about, oh, free speech on Twitter. And we've all seen what's happened to Twitter uh, and how it's just a disgusting place of censorship and, and grodiness right now. But he, uh, he's made an offer, as he says right here. He's made an offer to buy Twitter. And uh, let's go to uh, The Verge here uh, and check it out. Uh, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is making his best and final offer to buy 100% of Twitter in an updated 13D file with the SEC, whatever, offering $54.20 per share. Okay, so that, that makes the value of Twitter at over $43 billion when the current evaluation of Twitter is $37 billion. B -b 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 billion dollars, which is just stupid. So essentially what they're looking to do or what Musk is looking to do, this is called a hostile takeover. And in a hostile takeover, someone will actually literally just buy the entire company. And what's interesting about this is Twitter is a public company right now. It is traded on the market. And Elon Musk says, I'm going to take it and make it my own. So suck it. <laughs> Musk is offering to, quote, acquire all the outstanding common stock of the issuer, not, no, not owned by a reporting person for all cash, Considerations value in the common stock at $54.20 per share. The proposal was delivered in a letter to Twitter on April 13th, which today is April 14th. So yesterday, so Twitter was like, oh my God, they, they, they got that yesterday and they're like, oh, so the news came out this morning and that's exciting. Musk says Twitter must go private to undergo changes that need to be made. I invested in Twitter as I believe it's potential to, and it's potential, potential to be a free speech platform. Uh, around the globe, and I believe free speech a free speech is a societal societal imperative. Whatever he thinks, free speech is important. Twitter has extraordinary potential. I will unlock it. Go get him, Elon. <laughs> this, is, this is exciting to see. Uh, I would need to reconsider. Um, I would need to reconsider my position as a shareholder, says Musk, if his offer is not accepted. So what's interesting about that is he's essentially saying, like, look, this is what I'm going to do. All right, and if you don't like it, if you don't accept it, then guess what? I'm out, and your your shares are gonna tank. Because what happened after he bought his nine percent last week or whatever was uh, Twitter shares store soared, and this morning they're like flying off the charts. They're going crazy. They're up like 18, 20 percent. And why wouldn't they? Right? They they would absolutely go up. So, anyways, so I, I think this is an absolutely fascinating development. Uh, the board is reportedly meeting at 10 a.m. Eastern to discuss this offer, although it's unclear whether a decision will be reached. So they can always decline this. And by the way, uh, as the time of this recording, right now I'm recording at 8.30 in the morning central time. Uh, so they're gonna have their meeting in about 30 minutes. So right now, as I'm recording this, there are some headaches and there are some, there's some hand wringing going on right now. And people are freaking out over at Twitter and their CEO is like, holy crap, I just got the job. And Jack Dorsey, the, the founder of Twitter is like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be even more rich. Uh, and anybody who owns Twitter right now, Twitter stock is going to be like, hell yes, they're going to get a payout, which is, you know, what you want when it comes to a stock. The, the idea of a, a takeover like this is really, really fascinating on a company of this scale. I, I mean, I don't think there's ever been a, anything like this where it's been a $46 billion uh, takeover right there, uh, uh, like this. This is uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what people are saying about this. Um, a man willing to spend $41 billion for free speech is a good man that I can admire. I don't know who Dr. Willie Montag is, but there it is. Um, you know, I will say this. There is the other side of this where people, uh, people have been critical of Elon Musk saying that uh, I, I guess in the past he has uh, people, uh, people at, at, at SpaceX or some of his companies have been critical of him. And they say that he's attempted to silence them. And now people, you know, the, the, the contracting view of this is that Elon Musk would be uh, controlling too much, you know, electric cars and space and now social media, which make, make no mistake. I mean, Twitter is, you know, outside of Facebook, one of the most 
important. Uh, well, I mean, what they say about Twitter is it's it is the um, the town square, the online town square. Which the reality is is that Twitter is a very small percentage of the total population. There's like 38 million percent, 38 million people in the United States on Twitter. That's about 10, maybe 11 percent of the users uh, of, of uh, the United States America, United States America, United States citizens. And uh, most of Twitter's users are actually outside of the United States. Um, but Twitter does control a, they, an improportionate amount of, of the narrative that is pushed by, uh, by media in the country and uh, as far as pushing agendas and such. Um, and when you think about uh, your common social network that 98% of the platform doesn't is not super active. They're more of observers. This is just a common thing. And like 2% of the users are the one pushing the narrative and they're the ones who are active every single day and providing like 80% of your content. So like 2% of this 38 million in the United States are the ones pushing 80% of the content out there. So you have your Twitter power users and all that, all that stuff. Um, so I, I definitely understand why people at Twitter would be nervous. I definitely understand why people who are advocates of free speech uh, are excited about this, which is crazy to think about, you know, crazy to think about the idea that, um, well, you know, it's it, that, that we're talking about free speech, specifically, you know, an American based company. But uh, like I said, the vast majority of Twitter's users are actually outside of the United States. It'd be fascinating to see how uh, what Elon Musk would do to go in and uh, uh, rectify uh, kind of what, what's happened with Twitter the last three, four, five, six years. Um, I, I am not on Twitter. I, I do have a Twitter account um, at Stutter and Craig. I do not post on it. The only time I post is in reply to people. Uh, I very rarely am on it. And most of that is because I just, I simply think it's a giant cesspool of waste. With that said, I do check it occasionally. Um, and it's especially this morning. So it'll be very interesting to see what becomes of this. Although, man, I'll tell you what, when you want to talk about putting your money where your mouth is, putting down 40, what, $54 billion, $54 billion to make a point like, oh my gosh. And that's, that's like 20% of Elon Musk's, uh, you know, wealth, which is maybe, maybe a little bit less, but either way, I, at, at that point, what's it matter? You know, you're dealing with b -b -b billions of dollars. Um, I, I am fascinated with Elon Musk. I am absolutely fascinated with Elon Musk. I am fascinated with with uh, his directions and the in the companies that he uh, that companies that he owns, uh, whether it's uh, SpaceX or obviously Tesla uh, and now potentially Twitter. Uh, I am uh, look, things will change. If you'd like to see uh, see me talk about this, as this surely will be a roller coaster, um, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button because uh, this is something that I, you know. Like I said, I did a news one a news video the other day. Um, and you guys seem to enjoy it. It was topical uh, based off of my life, but I am fascinated by this. So, uh, hey, man, it's like a new hard news <laughs> in 2022. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I guess stay up to date if you want. Once again, thumbs up will do it, and, uh, and, and that will tell me if you like to see this or not. But let me know what you think down in the comments below because I am salivating to see where this goes. Absolutely fascinating. Um, I'm Craig, and this was hard news. <laughs> oh, man, that's a callback. <laughs>